Hello and welcome back to Foundry. In our last episode, we started to work on... We set up circuits, first of all. And then we started to work on expanding the uh, Ignium fuel rod setup over here. And then discovered that we didn't have enough Ignium coming up. And the reason for that was... We weren't making any rails. So we started making... We had a handful of rails in storage. We sent those down to be used immediately. And then we started making these. Uh, but... I didn't toggle this to be an in input, so we weren't actually sending them down. Uh, so that's uh, stockpiled up a few here in the uh, in the building, and now we're going to consume these again. But it should be okay because um, they're only going to be consumed for a little while. I want to just uh, zip downstairs to see how badly the amount of time that the uh, that it was set incorrectly hurt us. It may not have really at all because we did send 140 or 120 or something down here uh, initially. Yeah, it hasn't even used the ones that were that were stockpiled yet on the belt and the lift. So, although the lift might be just about empty of them, so it might have been pretty close. Um, but we'll let this keep, keep drilling, keep expanding, keep going. It's gonna just keep going basically to infinity, I assume. I mean, it's not very deep yet. We haven't even passed the edge of what we have uh, claimed as our base. But the map is infinite, so it'll go for a long time. <laughs> and I fell. Because of course I did. Which means I'm going to have to do some blasting. You guys have missed the blasting anyway, right? So, oops. How about up here a little bit higher? Or not. Up here? There we go. Thank you. All right, I'd already blasted out a bunch of this here at the bottom because, well, I had fallen down here two or three times, perhaps. So, yeah, we'll just wait for the elevator to come and get us. It'll be down in a moment. And then we can head up and continue working on the Ignium fuel rod expansion so that we can then work on the fuel cells, I believe is what they were called. Sorry, I needed to take a drink there. Uh, energy cells. Uh, soon. All right, let's head back up now. Please? There we go. If you hit the button right when it opens, it will wait, make you wait for a moment. And we're just about ready to unlock conveyors 3, which we actually won't need now, uh, because I have a little bit of a change in mind for the... Um, for the oil products. And I want to show you that too before we... Before we go back to uh, working on the um, Ignium fuel rods. Uh, just a partial, or just a brief show though, because it, um, we're not gonna do anything with it just yet, but let's just zip over there and, and demonstrate really quickly. Oops, ran into the machine there. Um, so last time we split the uh, fuel rods evenly going toward the bus and coming this way. Uh, I did go and grab a bunch of them off the bus and feed them in here just so these things would keep working, but it was only a temporary fix. You can see here that they are uh, dwindling fast. Um, but uh, I disconnected, or turned off rather, this um, this here. So it has completely drained itself of the Olamite, and I think it's probably yeah, working on draining itself of the, um, of the uh, high-density Olamite here and then the liquid polymer should be all pushed out eventually as well. Um, and because these are the first ones on the belt, they're gonna get used first, and then these will just keep going on the other side. So the plan will be to take down this entire, uh, we'll call it the right side here, uh, the uh, the western side of this, and replace it with an Olamite build based off of that other uh, refinery. Because it was just way too much stuff. So we're gonna end up with six uh, presses making the the boards which is still going to be a ridiculous amount um capacity wise it's going to be 180 but it's not going to be the the ridiculous amount we're making because we we just don't need them we needed 36 i think so we're only going to be using 20 percent of what we're making anyway okay so back to this build uh we have everything going we have the um the powder being made the uh the, what are they called? The the, the rods being made? Uh, pellets being made. So now we just need to move this over. Over this way. Um, we also are going to need to have a, uh, a belt carrying 
these uh, wires, because this is 120, and this needs 120, so we need to have also a, a full setup of this. So first things first, we take this whole belt out here, and we come all the way over here, uh, one by 14 by one, there we go, and we can take all of you out, and have you emptied yourself at all? No, you have 134 fuel rods in there. Oh boy, this is going to be oofy. A little bit oofy. Uh, hopefully that's still in a good spot. We can take this out. I'm going to have a crap ton of these in my inventory, but we'll be able to... Um, let's see, steel was going... Oh, that was going this way too. Oops, let's take these out too then. Come this way, go to there. Uh, one by six by one, thank you. Take this out as well. Take this light out because we're going to need to put something there. Uh, take this out as well. Oh, wait. Oh, I gotcha. Okay. I gotcha now. Yep. This goes... Not that one. This one goes here. And then we need to have... Uh, we're just going to mirror this. Kind of like we did with this whole build. We're just going to keep mirroring. Uh, we're going to also have to continue these rods, which is not going to work the way I have this thing set up. So we're going to have to come up with a different build here a little bit. We may just have to go up and over uh, instead of going under, which is unfortunate, but hey, what are you going to do? Uh, we'll fix that. Let's see. You're going to go right here. You're going to make igneum fuel rod. Oops. And that's going to pick up the pellets. Good. And then we need a wire coil machine. I don't have... I do have. Okay. Uh, these are three away. One, two, three. And you'll be wire. I'm not going to bother going down there to copy it. We'll just do it. And this is where I need the technum for. So I can't do a distributor here because it's too close. So the only thing I can do is change the way this is done entirely. Just like I said, unfortunate. But we'll take it out. I'll go under and delete those afterward. Uh, take this out. Take that out. And we are still woefully under um, supplying our our uh, technum here. Uh, take, take this out as well. Uh, let's see. This is a uh, oh, this one. We'll just go up by one. That's all we actually needed, and we can come down by one. Uh, if you go under, we had to go go by two because oh, this it's already good there, light. Uh, because of the the not only the belt but the block itself. Uh, by going over, we only have to go over by one. And then we can do this here. And then this can continue along to this point. I think I did probably the first input. Yeah. Let's just do the same here. Even though it's not a mirror, technically. Uh, input there. This will be an input. We want to do the mirror? Yeah, why not? Let's do this one here. And then we'll do output over here. And then you'll be a, a 120, so just a single, uh, or a red belt, rather. Mark, a tier 1 belt. That's making the stuff. This is ready to go. If it was picking up the um, the, the, the spent uh, cartridges here. Let's pick that up. And yeah, we'll do this here. I can put that light pole back in here now, I suppose. Uh, I could just go here off-center a little bit, but that's fine. This should have been an input. Oops. It didn't break anything. And then we need to be able to output these and merge them together. Which I didn't really plan for. But we can still accomplish it well enough, I think. Uh, now, this one could, of course, be prioritized to go that way. And then this one could be prioritized to go that way. That would work, too. But I would rather do this a little bit differently. And so what I'm going to do is do a... Yeah, I'm going to do a two. Yep, yep. Do a second lane output. Uh, do I have any of those made? Yes, I do, actually. Uh, output. And that'll actually let... The, would, would actually let this one get started. Um, and let them go that way. Which is fine with me. For now, because we need the fuel for energy anyway. Or, yeah. And then I want to reverse this stretch of belt and move this out a bit. this. Uh, 
you will. I'm gonna not remove that because that'll keep the fuel going or the power going rather. Uh, out to here. Take this out. Take this out. I'm gonna do the second the second lane one again, just for my own just for similarity's sake. Oops, I didn't mean to delete the foundation though. There. Uh, and then this can go here. No. This can go straight. This one can go straight. Uh, we need to take out a little bit more here. And put in a uh, distributor. There. And you're not getting any return things, and I don't have the new ones being made yet. Uh, and then we're going to do um, output here. So that'll still go to the bus. And this one's going to send this way. And then we'll take these back this way. And um, do like do like this. That way they're they're load they're load balanced a little. Uh, that'll come. I just go all. No, I can't. Right, we're gonna do take this out, take that out. You go that way now. You can come this way now, and you should have been going this way. There we go. So now they're going that way, and they'll be load balanced together merge together and then split again so that we'll always have them now we need to do one more assembler three which i did not make assembler two rather and we need to put it in here which i did not plan for and that's going to make the the new cartridges cartridge things uh the new empties the new whatever they're called fuel rod casings. They need the advanced machinery parts and the xenophorite steel beams. So they're going to come in uh, here, like before. Downloader. Uh, let's do two more here, I think. That's fair. And then, at least that take you out. I've done that first to save myself a keystroke here. Uh, this will be an input. This will be an input. You are just going to town, aren't you? This will be here. This will be... Oops. There. And then we'll just bring those two items in down here. Uh, we might need to make some more belts or get some more belts. Here. And out that way a bit. Yeah, we're going to need some more belts. X. This way. Uh, no. You're going to that one. Never you mind. Well, maybe. Is that right? It would be if I had enough belts. I don't really even have enough to make any. Do a little bit of shopping. Fell again. Okay. to also go shopping for random materials uh, or random basic materials. Yeah, Technum rods are seriously hurting right now. And it looks like we're starving. Oh, not we're starving. Uh, we're spinning a lot of them to go that way. Right. right. This can go here. There you go. And then you, if I can get you to target properly. No, it's too far. Okay. We'll do this up here. And go that way. Ah, good guess. In you go. Now what that'll do is um, that'll get these things going. Hopefully, if I got everything set right. Yeah, the steel beams came in. Oh, I need. Uh, I guess I need to have an output here. Uh, you get to be these that we don't have enough of either. Perfect. Output go. And then that should just start outputting 12 of those per minute. And they'll again get uh, get bypassed if, or get, get ignored if that comes through. Uh, I do have a crap ton of these that I should have put into these machines already and didn't. I'm just gonna load them all onto this one. Because kind of why not? It'll be fine. Because this one's gonna steal all of the empties that come anyway. 
So, um, yeah, should have done that earlier. Oops. All right, let's go do some quick shopping for some other items. Um, it's going to take a while to make all those. Now, in reality, I probably could have done something a little bit different here. Um, only... We only needed one every... 20 seconds, I believe, to go that way. And we're currently making... One every... Five seconds here. And one every five seconds there. So we're making two every five seconds. Which means that we're making a lot more than we need. Which is for, for science, which is good for, for fuel. And it's also going to be good for energy cells. So now we have igneum fuel rods in enough supply that we can make the uh, make the fuel cells, which is good. Or energy cells, rather. Excuse me. We have the fuel rods enough that we can make the energy cells. Uh, we're also going to need to direct what's left of this igneum to go over to make those uh, fuel rods. Um, those No, those energy cells. Jeez, wow. Should probably widen this a bit more. One more, I think. And then maybe another one right here, too. So I can move around a little. Do I have any fuel on me while I'm here? Yes, I have 10 whole biomass. Hopefully, you guys are going to get enough fuel that we don't starve out the power. But I'm not going to be holding my breath too much on that. Just now. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. I mean, technically, this one isn't necessary, so that one sitting there is a waste, or maybe there's two here. But that's only two. It's not two per minute or two per anything. It's just two. All right, you're clear now. Uh, have you guys cleared out? No. Hmm. We're not making any more circuits, apparently. I was hoping that would clear out that way I wouldn't be wasting anything. Not that there's really a lot of waste that would happen. Oh boy, this is backing up good now. Yep, we have made all the circuits. So let me, oops, not that way. Let me do this so that we can drain out those. Uh, maybe I should have just done it that way. I'll take those. Actually, I should take a whole stack just in case I need them for something. Especially for the next tier of belts. Let's do that. And I'm just going to let this thing fill up for now while we drain out those uh, those machines. Yes, I should have done that earlier. So, uh, we unlocked... Oh, we should do another research. That would be good. Uh, third lane loaders. Maybe. Real speed. Eh. We should actually do solar panels. What do those take? Those take the energy cells, though. Transformers take the energy cells. Batteries take the energy cells. I guess we need to work on energy cells. What do freight elevators need? Let's, let's do freight elevators three, even though... We don't have any use for them right now. They are ticking down on the blue and the red. Holy cow. Yes. Alright, they are running again now. There's still olamite in the pipe, or it thinks there is. And you haven't drained really much anyway. I don't know how that works as far as load balancing those kind of goes, but these are working at full... Or this one, rather, at least, is working at full steam. Probably that one over... This one over here, too, because they're the first ones on the on the line. Yep. And they would only not be working... Uh, they, sorry, the next ones would only be not... Well, it would be working, which they actually just started once this is, this thing's buffer got emptied, which it was 200, so it took it a minute. Okay, so I think now we can do um, a little bit of this olamite. We can at least look at it. Uh, we need to have a refinery. I guess I could just make another one. I was hoping to reuse these. I guess I could just pull one of these up and lose that lose those fluids, that would be fine enough. And that way I don't have to make it, make one that I don't need, necessarily. Put this down, and let's take a look at that uh, 
that olemic acid. Uh, this is going to consume 562 and a half high density olemite to create to, to make 300 olemic acid. We're going to need to have 120 crushed uh, powder per minute, which isn't very much. Those are making a, I think, a crazy amount. Uh, I don't have any crushers on me, and I know that I have, and I should have grabbed these. They make 30, so that's that's only four crushers worth, uh, which is like 24 uh, ore. So it's not a lot of ore, which is good because we're consuming right now 120 of the 150 that's able to come this way. Oh, and I think somebody mentioned, I didn't show it when we were downstairs, I should have. Uh, somebody mentioned about the uh, fifth... Um, Miner, and I did get that started, so we do have the full 300 and uh, whatever uh, going. All right, so four crushers makes 300, and one of these makes 300 alumic acid. Now, the alumic acid is going to be used in making these in an assembler. Let's make an assembler. I didn't go shopping for the basics. Oh, boy, that's backed up now, too. That's not good. <laughs> That's a lot. Oh dear. Uh, let's grab some of the... We don't have any Tectum to grab. That could be a problem. Do the Xeno. Start with. Do some of these. We're not getting any of these down here anymore? Oh, I have it prioritized to go that way first. That's right. Okay. Uh, I'll put those back then. And I think we need some of these probably for things. Yeah, but not that many. Just a few. And some of these, yep. Can I just hoover up some of this Technum rods just to have some more? I don't think walking fast picks up a lot. There we go. And it is running at full speed here. It's just that we're using too much. So that'll be our first... Um, actually, we could do that now. We have faster belts now. Ooh. All right, let's finish looking at this project first. And then maybe we'll defer setting it up yet, but or maybe we could just set it up just to get it set up. Uh, we need to make an assembler. That's what I went over there for stuff for. Here. And we're going to want to make uh, the energy cells. Some place, I think over here, but we'll see. Uh, maybe I'll make them on this side over here somewhere. Just so we don't have to run all these belts this way. We can make them like here next to solar or something. Above the um, the xenoferrite mine. Uh, 135 makes 18. This is going to make 300. So that's it's a little more than two of these. Which should be a ridiculously high number. Uh, I think we could probably get away with just one of these. And be fine. And so if we wanted to do that, one of those, one of these, and that's only going to use 562 and a half out of 1125, which is half of one of these. So we're going to have a lot of um, leftover uh, olamite for later. But that'll be fine. Uh, let's take out this pipe too. Oh, actually, I didn't need to do that, but that's fine. Take, take this, uh, put it in the same spot, because it's kind of doing the same type of thing. But then we'll take that pipe out and come this way with it instead to go over to where we're going to do this assembly. Uh, let's take you here. And we can do this one here. You will make the olemic acid. And we're just going to run that into a pipe. You're still processing. It's going to be a while. Because it's only when we use them for the circuit builds of anything. And then I guess I'll just take this out. That's fine. I'm going to waste some stuff, but I'm going to waste some stuff. Uh, let's do... Oh, let's do a curve here. H. Nope. There we go. And... Straight pipe. We were doing... Nope. This way. I'll go up to the same height. Might as well. And then we need another curve here. X. Go there. And then we're just going to turn it and come come this way and go right through there. Uh, 
curve again. Not what I wanted. This one. There we go. And then we'll come out straight. Windows on the sides. One more. A curve. There. And back to this way. And that's going to go that way somewhere. So I think we can kick this on now. Uh, you're going to be filtered for high density. Input. And you're going to be filtered for alumic acid. Output. And then we just need to bring in the ignium powder. And I think we could crush that here. We just need four crushers. We have two. And we really don't even need four because if we only do one assembler, we really only need uh, two crushers. Let's just start with the two then. Uh, let's do... Ooh, this kind of fits well. Let's do like this and this. Uh, we'll take a belt out here. Actually, it doesn't fit well. Cancel. Take a belt out here. Like that. And then we'll do a belt coming in of the uh, Ignium right here. You get to be input on this one and this one. And you all get to be output on this one and this one. And you get to be powder. Powder. And then I need to make some more of these so that you can be an input right there. And then we just need to bring that belt of ignium over here. Now, that's the toughie. Uh, getting that over here because we're going to have to bring it around. It's going to have to cross here somewhere somehow. And then go in. We could go under. Maybe, we, maybe under is better here. Uh, if we went under... Can I do one, two, three, four? That would be perfect. Five, this is an up. There and there. And then we're just going to go right from here, I think. that and then we'll just go out and then go down i think we'll go off the edge and then go turn downward fall down you go there and then these will be downers uh, we'll come down two levels i guess since that's where we need to be anyway we can go straight across here Ooh, we could turn here underneath this though that'd be kind of fun let's turn um turn here. Nope. 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 This will go this way. Excuse me. Not on the stairs. There we go. Uh and then this will go there. Can I squeeze the oh look at the, not there. There? That works disturbingly well because the those are actually inside that first one's actually inside the floor blocks and then we'll come this way to some distance there uh, this will be flat here that's kind of nice and then we'll come this way to there and then there and then that should take care of all of this uh, i should put myself a staircase here though let's do uh, stairs for wally down here. Here, you can have what I have in my inventory because there's some in here. There you go. Just a few. And then you guys can hoover that up. Outputting the powder. And then inputting the powder here.
And remember, we're only going to do this at half speed, so this thing's only going to run half the time. Uh, because that's going to produce 150 then. And then the assembler that we made to demonstrate said that we could have 135. We needed to have 135. Yep, 135 per minute. So that'll be good, at least to start with. That'll make us 18 of these per minute. Um, and then we can decide later if that's enough or not. So let's put this over here. Uh, let's see, you are there. I don't know exactly where I want to put this, but maybe... Ooh, that's a nice sickly green color. I like it. Uh, let's do maybe right here. Oops. To kind of, yeah, let's do extra here. We kind of go this way. And then we'll go out, you know, maybe above here somewhere. And we can set it up like right here. So this is going to need a ridiculous amount of things coming in. Uh, let's give it a decent size pad. Uh, maybe we can go over a little bit more. That's some... Um, Five wide. We're gonna need to have uh, nine wide, I think. So I need four more here. Uh, let's see if that's right. I think it's right, but I'm kind of winging it here a little bit. Uh, do do do. Maybe like that. You're coming down this way. I think that's a good spot. Let's set this up again. So we need Xenofire plates. We'll get those. We need the electronic components, which means I need to turn off that split. Ooh, wow, this is backing up now. Ooh, wow. Yes, indeed. Uh, those igneum fuel rods, which will just kind of come across and in somehow. Uh, the Olemic acid, which will come in a pipe. And yeah, there's four inputs and one output here. So uh, we need to be creative. Uh, one thing I think we'll have plug into the front which if I push this back, could just be the Olamite. I think that's a good idea. Let's, well, well, well. Or do I want to unlock the third lane loaders? Maybe I should have done those first. We'll do that later if we add more of these. Uh, for now, this will, oops, not, that's not what I wanted. For now, this will work. And it'll be good enough. There. Uh, wait, I needed to push it back, didn't I? Yes, I did. There. And the reason I didn't want these down on the bus was what? Just the alemic acid? This is down the bus, this is down the bus. All right, we're not gonna do these here then. I'm gonna run the pipe down the bus. And we'll do these down on the bus, just for fun. Because why not run the pipe down the bus too? So I'm going to just put it right in the next bus line. It may not be the best place for it, but it's the best place I... Well, I shouldn't say the best place I have, because it's not the best place I have, but it's the best idea I have at this point, not knowing what else might need to be on the bus. Uh, but it's probably good to try this out, and make sure that it, it's, a, it's good anyway. Or, since we're in three dimensions, why don't we just put this up higher above the bus? Above... The something. Actually, just make it be above these, for that matter. Wait, did I turn one too? I did turn one too early. Uh, let's turn that off. And let's do this, please. And then that. And then turn. And then go straight again. Yeah, so let's, let's put this above the bus. Above this bus, I mean. I think I should probably go up again for this a little bit. So let's do that. Uh, U and an H. There we go. Let's go up like... I don't know. Uh, H? Nope. T. Well, I did need the H too. Let's go up two more maybe. Just for fun. 
And then we'll do another, another curve. Okay, Wally. Because we kind of came up, I guess we came up one here, but it's fine. Uh, straight pipe. Add an H, a T rotation. And then we're going to go that way until we run out of pipes, which is very soon. Uh, pipe. Here. Oh, wow, we got bumped. We got bumped to the next row. It's probably not going to be enough. That's only 100 pipes. We'll start with it. We don't need a buffer for this. I don't I don't know why we'd need a buffer for this here. I should probably have a assembler making pipes down here on the bus someplace too. That couldn't hurt. Yeah, we'll just determine this as being the... This is the stuff that's coming from oil. Well, olamite. On this bus lane. Oh, there's a uh, rogue belt down there that I see. Uh, stop there. Here we are. Spent all my pipes again. Just make them all. I'll go get some more steel. Here. That's high enough up that it's not going to make me bump my head even when I jump. Which is kind of convenient. Almost to the end. Alright, we'll call that good enough spot. To start with um, a place to make pipes so I don't forget those again. And I'm just going to put them into a local box. We're just going to do one assembler. This will be seven wide. Um, we'll do seven by seven for right now. Give me a bunch of these. Assembler. This will go right here. And this will be pipes. Just needs the steel beams and then it'll go into a local box. This is going to make me 45 per minute, which is probably more than I need. Uh, let's see. We need one of those. Intake mode here. Output mode here. A little bit more base here. I do have one of those small logistic boxes here. And we'll do a side load like this. It means I didn't need this much. And where did, where did you all come from? Oh, I know where those came from. Input. Belt. Go that way. Belt go this way. I don't know where steel is. It is not that far out. You know, find it. Here's the last time we used it. It's a good place to find it. There. There. Uh, actually, maybe I shouldn't go that far out yet. Step down. Is this going to be a problem? Hope not. Too far. You give me some of these. Bring downward like that. There we go. Here. Actually, give me a few of those for later. There you go. 
So now we can make pipes so I don't have to make them all by hand anymore. So I have to come down here and go shopping. Uh, I'm going to still do only four slots, though. And that's just going to build up. Uh, so the next bit is going to be the uh, thing we were just looking at. Uh, let's do a little bit more of this. And these need to be nine. Do like that. And go there. goes here. Let's make a bunch. Now, these are all going to be inputs. Um... Yeah, even if I wanted the pipe to be on the side... I couldn't do it because I was still near the third lane loader. What's going on with the... Are we, why are we not getting enough... Oh, the Tectum, again. Tectum, you're killing me. Oh, you're here. Yeah. We're just not getting enough electronic components in here. I'm still making circuits? Oh, is it stockpiling? Yeah, it's stockpiling. Because I, I took some. That probably wasn't the greatest plan. That's alright. Uh, you... Yeah, you need to have... These? Like that. Oops, that's the wrong way. And then like this... And then like this. And then we'll do a pipe loader. Which I don't have any spares of because I didn't deconstruct everything, but we only need one uh, here. I'm going to put it there. And since this is a three-dimensional game, let's do... Oh, 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 oh. I'm pressing all the wrong keys. There we go. Pressing all the wrong keys. Let's see. Let's go this way. I don't know how high this needs to go. Why is there no green goo in these last few pipes? Are you still, like, pressurizing or something? Or is there really a, a limit to the range on these? Because these only have, like, 0.05 liters in them. Something I know it's goofed up. I know what it is. Let's go down here and fix it before I forget. Somebody. No names. Did not turn this back on. So it stopped making it after like 10 seconds. There we go. Uh, I mean, it did pull what was left in this pipe, I assume. Oh, I didn't want to do that, though. Uh, crap. This needs to get broken here. Now. Nope. This one. Yeah, that's basically dry. Alright, it's back to work again. We should have a bit more in these pipes now. It's going up, at least. Okay. See, the fuel rods have backed up. That means that uh, we can start 
counting on more energy, more power now. We're going to need to um, probably add more generators at some point. I'm also hoping to enable the... Uh, these are getting lumic acid now. It's going to take them a little bit to get there, but um, I'm going to put down something to stand on here. Um, it's going to take it's going to take a little bit to get those those power um, solar panels going because we have to get these going first. Let's see where do I want to go with this? Okay, should be right here. A little bit more. I think here. I don't know how high this is though. Let's do a, actually let's not connect the pipe. Let's do this, let's cheese it a little. Yep, that's correct, lineup wise. Okay. And then I can do this and I can put the corner in then. I'll leave this here for now. Come over here, I went too far. Wrong thing. Nope, wrong thing there. There, and we'll climb up here. Give me a corner. There you go. Now, while that's filling in, we can connect the rest of these belts up, which is going to be uh, xenoferrite plates, electronic components, and igneum fuel rods. Fire plates are way, way, way back here. And I didn't upgrade. Oh, that was just the thing. Okay. Uh, you go here. Why? Weird. Okay. Go that way. And I'm out. I need to set these up at some point. We finally finished that research, so let's do, um, do the third lane. That's going to go out to, I don't know what, probably the electronic components. Is there the next thing? Wait a minute. Apparently I also don't know how to count. I don't need all those inputs on this side. Which means that I should have brought the pipe in on the side. I think I'll move that off camera. Uh, these should have actually just been Mark 1s. Means I need more of those. fell. Never did fix these corners. Finding all kinds of things wrong. Alright. Uh, let's see. You're gonna go here. And then we need one of these. Uh, nope. The medium sized one here. Perfect. Take this out. And then this continues this way to the electronic components, which is actually not very much further. Right here. Is that? That is. Okay. That'll work. Uh, one of you, go here. One of you. Uh, no, I need just distributor one here. Red belt. There we go. That'll be the electronic components. And then finally, we need to have.
fuel, fuel rods. And those will come from here. No, oh, there. May need to move this tentacle. Nope, oh, we can go right over it. There, there, and almost there. They hadn't made it this far yet, that's good. There we go. Control Z this now, I don't need it anymore. And that should kick those off. So I'm assuming we got the uh, fluids in here, good. We haven't yet. Oh, I haven't turned the thing on yet. Let me make acid input. There you go. I want to just let one of them get made. There they go. And then we'll be ready to go for the next time. But the first task for the next time is going to be the upgrade for Technum. Since we are completely... Uh, be reft of it at this point so we're gonna uh upgrade the the mining uh possibly adding more miners into that mine um but definitely just upgrading the belts coming out of the mine um seeing what we can get out of it at least and then doubling the uh the smelting upstairs we do the these are quite backed up i think so we can probably get away with at least some um without having to upgrade too much. Um, we, if not, we can figure that part out, but we have a bit more we could do there. And then once this is done, we're gonna need to do an, need to set up another uh, Technum mine. We talked about this one here. Uh, it's uh, digging down a little bit, but we could do it. Uh, the other option is to start mining underground for the Technum, and instead of using these bots, do that. So we can discuss that. If you have thoughts or suggestions, by all means, let me know in the chat or the comments or in Discord. And um, otherwise, uh, we're going to take probably a two-day hiatus, once again, from this game uh, to return to Against the Storm for the latest update. Uh, it should probably be just two days, discussion of the update, playing through one town, and that usually takes me to uh, two episodes. And then we'll come back and we will... Um, we will continue working on the Technum, we'll continue working on the fuel cells, and we can set up some of the new solar panels and um, transformers and batteries. Uh, we're also going to need to have not just the loader third lane, actually we don't even need the loader third lane now, but we need to have a conveyor distributor three, so we're going to have to actually do that instead, so I'm going to set that one up instead. Uh, hopefully that'll get done. Um, maybe I'll let it run a little bit off camera for that because we're going to need that for this Technum uh, business. So thank you all for joining me and I will see you tomorrow for Against the Storm or in a couple of days for more Foundry. Have a good, have a good day, everyone. Bye for now.